guys, since our last video, I created a repository under a new account, but in this video, I actually continued on my personal account, but I made a new repository. So now we want to create a file within our repository, push it up to your GitHub repository, and also I'll teach you a little bit about pulling down changes from your GitHub repository. So let's change directories with the cd command into your repository's name. So if I type ls to see my directories and files in my current path, you can see my repository name is video guide. So I want to type in cd change directories into video guide. Type ls again to see what I have inside and I have nothing. So now to create a file, we have two options. The first way, type vim followed by the file name which we need readme.md, md meaning markdown file, which is used with our GitHub repository to display on our very front page. So now that we type vim readme.md, it'll open up an editor, which inside you can edit and then you can save, but I'm gonna teach you another way to do it, so one second. Type touch followed by the name of the file I wanna create, and it'll create that file within your current directory. So if I type ls again, it'll display readme.md, and if I want to edit that file, I'll type vim, followed by the file name, and we'll be inside the vim editor. Now that we want to edit our readme file, you can type i to go into insert mode, and then you can press escape to exit out of insert mode into normal mode. In our case, we want to go into insert mode now, and I'm just going to type in hello world, this is my readme.md file. Now I want to get out of insert mode, I'm going to press escape and I can move around the Vim editor and not have to worry about deleting any characters. So now let's say you want to save or save and quit the editor. If you just want to save, you can type shift colon and at the bottom left of the screen you'll see a little colon came up with a little cruiser mark. Over here you can type in commands and Vim will execute them. In our case, W means save. So press enter, it'll save the file in its current state. If I type in WQ, it'll save and quit. Or since we already saved, I can just press Q by itself and it'll do the same thing, quit. Now that we've done that, we wanna push the changes that we've made to our GitHub repository. So what we'll do now, we wanna type git status and git status will show us any changes that we've made and untrack files that are not currently in your GitHub repository. So as you can see, untrack files is readme.md because we created the file as well as changed what's within the file. So what you can do now is type git add and you can do dash capital A which will add all the files to be tracked and to be pushed up onto your GitHub repository. Or you can type dash dash all which is the same thing as capital A or you can just specify a file readme.md. Personally, I like to do git add-a. That way, I can add everything and not have to worry about doing individual files. Now that you've done that, you want to do git status again. See, it'll say new file readme.md, which means this is the new file that we made or it'll show changes and it's going to push those onto the repository on GitHub. So now I can do git commit, which will log the current state of our files that we have added and dash m to have a message followed by double quotes. And what we'll do here is we'll type a message so that way if we wanna go back in time, it'll give you a little message saying this is what you've done in this current state. I'm gonna put created readme.md file edited first time. Press enter, I'll say created, edited first time. Now we want to push these changes onto your repository on GitHub. If this is your first time pushing onto your GitHub repository, what you want to do is type git push, which will push this to your repository on GitHub, followed by origin master. Type enter. And there you go. So now I'm going to clear. Now we want to go to our GitHub account now. Refresh the page. And voila, there we go. Hello world, this is the readme.md file. So there it is, that's the basics. And from here on out, you can just type git push instead of git push origin master. So let's say that hypothetically, you made changes online or somebody else committed changes and you wanna pull those changes 
from your repository on GitHub to your local machine. I'm just going to make a few changes on here. So hypothetically speaking, there's been a change. This is a new change. And we cat our readme.md file. And cat will display whatever is within that file to your terminal screen. And as you can see that we have two different versions. So let's say that the one on your repository is the current state that you want and you want to pull those changes to your local repository. So what you can do now is type git pull and it'll pull those changes that we have on our GitHub repository to our local repository on our local machine. So now if we type cat readme.md, you'll see that we have all the new changes. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Thank you.